God talks to Avram, but suddenly Avram notices three people in the desert, so he hosts them with food and drinks. The guests reveal that Sarah will have a boy next year, and she overhears <laughs> and laughs, but denies she did. God tells Avram that he's destroying Sdom. Avram tries to cancel the decree if there will be righteous men in the city, but there aren't. The two angels arrive at Sdom, and Lot insists they stay at his house, but the people of the city want to harm him. Lot offers his daughters instead, but the people refuse, and the angels blind them with bright lights. Lot's sons-in-law don't take him seriously, and he delays his departure until the angels grab him and his family and exit the city with them. Lot begs the angel not to destroy the city Tzoar so he can escape to it. God destroys Sodom and the cities near it with fire and sulfur and Lot, Lot's wife gazes and becomes a pillar of salt. Lot escapes Tzoar too and enters a cave with his two daughters. They're convinced that the world was destroyed so they get him drunk and conceive two babies named Moab and Ben Ami. Avram moves to Grar and claims that Sarai is his sister and she's taken to King Avimelech. God tells him in his dream that he's going to die because Sarai is married. Avimelech begs for his life and returns Sarai in addition to many gifts. Avram prays and Avimelech is saved. Yitzchak is born and circumcised and Avram makes a feast to celebrate when he is weaned from breastfeeding. Sarah sees that Ishmael is behaving terribly and demands that Avram banish him and God confirms. Hagar wanders the desert and throws Ishmael to the bushes when the water runs out. An angel tells her to pick him up. She finds water and raises the boy in the desert and gets him a wife from Egypt. Avimelech and his minister make an alliance with Avram who complains that Avimelech's servants stole his well. So they make an alliance over seven sheep to indicate that the well is his and calls a place Be'er Sheva. God commands Avram to go to the land of Moriah and sacrifice Yitzchak. Avram prepares and journeys for a few days, ascends the mountain, ties Yitzchak and lifts a knife, but suddenly is commanded by an angel to stop and then sacrifices a ram who was entangled in the woods nearby. God blesses Avram for his loyalty. Avram's relatives reproduce and Rivka is born.